Uh, hey guys, we are going to go over the uh, six problems that we're given in class. Um, I would consider these six of our challenge problems um, uh, for uh, linear equations, parallel and perpendicular relationships. So, um, our first problem, it says write the equation of a line that's perpendicular to the given line and that passes through the given point. So if you want to try it first, um, go ahead. Okay, so uh, again, important thing is to understand what the problem is saying. It says write the equation of a line, so we're going to do that in slope-intercept form, but it has to be perpendicular to this line, and it has to go through this point. So here's what we're saying. Here's the line we have. Notice I have this written in standard form. This is what I have. I want a line that goes through this point and is perpendicular to that line. Now, again, there's an infinite amount of lines that would go through this point, but only one line that will go through this line. Uh, through this point that is uh, perpendicular to this line. So I need to figure out um, what the equation of this line in slope-intercept form is. So the first thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need the slope. And, I, and if I know it's perpendicular to this line, obviously I need to find the slope of this line first. So our first thing we're going to do is go about calculating the slope of the line that we have. So I'm going to convert this into slope-intercept form to be able to read the slope. So if you know how to read slope-intercept form, the slope of this line is 2. The slope of a line that would be perpendicular to this line is the opposite reciprocal or the negative reciprocal or the negative inverse, depending on how you want to, um, or how you learned it. And that would be negative 1 over 2. So now I have the slope of the line that I want, and I have a point that I know that it must go through. So, as I go ahead and just plug in into my point slope form, plug in my slope and my point, do a little algebra, and notice here at this last step, that's just some very basic fractions, and I should get y equals negative 1 over 2x minus 1 half, so that means the slope of my line that I wanted is, is negative 1 over 2, and my y-intercept is negative 1 over 2. Okay, if you just want to give this one a try, go ahead and pause it. Okay, uh, finding the x-intercept of the line that goes through these points. So, I have two points in two-dimensional space here on a two-dimensional plane. And uh, a line that goes through it, um, it has a slope, it has an equation uh, that I can write. And I want to know what's the x-intercept of that line. So, the first thing I have to figure out, oh, here's my uh, uh, x-intercept here. And of course, that's where y equals 0. And I need to know the uh, equation for that line. So the first thing I need is my slope. Okay. After I calculate my slope, I can just plug it into my point slope equation and go from there to find the equation of the line. So let's do that. If you calculate the slope correctly, you'll get negative 2 over 3. And I, go ahead, I went ahead and selected this point here. Again, x, y. Put my y in here and my x slid into over here. Uh, distributed, added 2, and now I have the equation of the line that I'm interested in, but I want to know the x-intercept of that line. And the diagram shows you that the x-intercept of that line is where y equals 0. So I'm just going to rewrite this equation and I'm going to set y equal to 0, and we just solve x. So I'm going to add 2, multiply by the uh, reciprocal, and I get x equals negative 3, and as a point I would express it like this. Is this would be the point at which it crosses the x-intercept. So I would say this is our x-intercept. This is the point at which the line crosses at the x-axis. Okay, number three. I'm asking for if this point here is on this line here, tell me what's the value of k that makes it true that this line is on this, or this point is on this line. I'll give it a shot. Okay. So again, I'm saying I have a line in space here, and I'm being very specific what it is. It has a slope of negative 3 over 2. It crosses the uh, y-axis at negative 18. And I'm asking, what is this point that's on the line? What value of k uh, does there need to be for this to be on the line? Well, again, a linear equation is like an input-output. So basically, I'm asking what value of x my input would give me an output y of negative 12. Well, all I have to do is just plug that in. I plug in my k 
where the x would go, my input value, and then just do some fairly simple algebra. Uh, I'm going to clear the fraction, add 36 and divide by negative 3. I get k is negative 4. So if I replace that with negative 4, this would show that this is a point that is on this line. Okay, number 4. It says, uh, this time it says, a line passes through these two points and has a slope of negative 1 over 3. What's the value of k? Go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, again, in space here, we have two points that are on a line. And it says, this line is a slope of negative 1 over 3. That means... But uh, going from left to right, as we um, as x increases, you notice that y decreases. So y decreases at negative 1 as x increases by 3, which is the slope of negative 1 over 3. And to find the value of k here, I can just use the simple idea of that change of y over change of x. Plug it into my formula here and very simply solve for k. So I'll clean this up a little bit. Um, I am going to use uh, cross products, cross multiplication. Uh, subtract 9 and divide by 3. So when k is 2, these two points are on a line that has a slope of negative 1 over 3. Uh, number 5, the graph of the line here passes through this specific point, And I want to know what is the coefficient for y coefficient of y. Well, this is in standard form, so um, well, let you give it, give it a shot. Go ahead. Okay. Um, again, we have this equation for a line, and I'm saying that this point is on the line, so this point must satisfy this equation. So all we really do is plug in our x and y values, and the only thing unknown now is the coefficient for y. Very simply, we can solve that. Adding 48 divided by negative 8, our coefficient is negative 3. Oops. Our last problem, and arguably our toughest problem, write an equation of a line that is perpendicular to the given line. This is our given line. And that has the same x-intercept. So applying the same x-intercept as this line. So this line really holds all the keys for the line that we want. Remember, we want to write an equation of a line, and it relates it to this line. Okay. So here's the line we have, and it has an x-intercept. And I want a line that's perpendicular to this line that has the exact same x-intercept. So this is the line that I want, and I want it written in slope-intercept form. Okay, so the first thing I need is the slope of the line in question. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, actually, I'm going to take it back. I, I selected to um, uh, find the x-intercept of this line first, because, again, it's, it's going to be both of this line, and it's going to share it with the line that we want. So the x-intercept just is where y equals 0. So I'm going to plug in y equals 0 right into this equation and solve it. And I find that my x-coordinate is at negative 9. So my x-intercept for the line that I want is this. Now I need to know the slope that I want, and I know it's perpendicular to the line that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and find out the slope of this. But I'm going to do that by uh, converting this into slope-intercept form. Subtract 3x, divide every term by 5, noticing that my slope is negative 3 over 5. So that's the slope that I have. The slope that I want is perpendicular to this. So that would be the uh, opposite reciprocal or the negative reciprocal, whatever way you want to uh, think about it. And that would be 5 over 3. Now that I have the slope of the line that I want and I have a point on the line that I want, I've got everything I need. Use the slope, use the point, and the point-slope formula. Some very simple algebra will get us to y equals 5 over 3x plus 15. Hope this helped. Happy studying.